Yes, I'm going to say a prayer in Facebook land. Many of you might be sick and afflicted in your body. You might have cancer. I'm going to believe God is going to send healing to your body in the name of Jesus. I believe God is going to make the lame to walk and blind eyes to see. Jesus said, greater work shall we do if we have the gift of the Holy Ghost. But make sure when God gives you a miracle, don't forget about Jesus. Still live holy. Because many times when God do miracles, we get so caught up in the miracles that we forget about Jesus. I'm going to believe God can work a miracle and heal your sick body in the name of Jesus Christ. You might be depressed tonight. Jesus can heal a broken heart. You don't got to commit suicide. Poverty is of the devil. You know, when you sin against God and we rebellious against God, it causes a lot of poverty. You know, when we're disobedient, bad things happen. Why do you think God turned Africa over into slavery? Because God wants us to pray one for another. God wants us to love one another. God wants us to be kind to one another. But when you begin to disobey God, and begin to be rebellious against God. Sometimes, at the times, God allowed the devil to do certain things. The enemy is out to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. We got to be obedient. God turned Africa over into slavery because they kept doing idol worship and devil worship and witchcraft. He kept warning them and warning Israel back then too. And they kept being rebellious against God. So what God did, cursed them with poverty. He turned them over to slavery. Somebody said, God does that? Yeah, he does that stuff. We just talk about God as love. He's love. A lot of things God hates. But Jesus can break the curse if we repent and give our hearts fully to God. Many of you want money, but don't want God. You want a house, but don't want God. You want a car, but don't want God. You can have all those things and still be miserable. A lot of folk in Hollywood are rich and they still kill themselves. Why? They don't want Jesus. They done made a pact with the devil. The devil don't care about us. The devil come to take our soul to hell. Hell is real. I don't want to go to hell. Hell is real. You think we got hell here on earth? Hell is, is worse than hell here on earth. And the lake of fire is even worse than hell. Okay, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 14. Hell has enlarged itself without measure. The wicked is going to hell. Murderers are going to hell. Liars are going to hell. Sex offenders are going to hell. Even people in the, the political world who has not repented are going to hell because they don't stand for justice. They race. There's even racism that's even in the leadership, even in the churches. Everybody who go to church don't have the Holy Ghost. You know them by their fruits. So we got to live holy after we leave the church. Hallelujah. We got to obey that Bible. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Hallelujah. Because the devil was busy. He come to steal, kill, and destroy. All he wanted to do was take our soul to hell. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. But you got to want him. See, God, it's one thing I love about the Lord. He doesn't foster Bible nobody. God doesn't make nobody get saved. You see, God gave everybody a choice. It's up to you. Either Satan or Jesus Christ. They're those who choose to follow the devil. They fight. hey, they love the devil, but the devil don't love them. The devil is even killing devil worshippers. We got people in Hollywood made packs with the devil. We got people up in the government made packs with the devil. We got a lot of churches with nothing but cults. But when the contract is up, the devil collects. Honey, it's time to get right with God because we don't know when we're going to die. After we die, this soul is going somewhere as either heaven or hell. Hallelujah. I don't want to die and go to hell. I'd rather live for Jesus so I can be with Jesus for eternity in heaven. There's a place called heaven just like there's a place called hell. Hell is for the wicked, but you don't have to go to hell. You can ask God, forgive me for your sins right now. And say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Lord, I got a weakness with drugs. I need help with alcohol. Lord, I got a problem with depression. Lord, I need your help. You might be depressed tonight. You might be suicidal tonight. You might not even have a family. Everybody, everybody doesn't have a family. Everyone around this holiday season doesn't have a family. But God will give you a mother when you got no mother. God will give you a father when you got no father. Just say, Lord, come in my heart and save me and give me the Holy Ghost and deliver me from drugs, deliver me from cigarettes, deliver me from alcohol. Jesus can set you free. Nobody can love you like Jesus. Nobody can give you joy like Jesus. Woo. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Jesus is still the answer for the world today, but we got to repent. We got to repent. What the word repent means, stop. Turn away with godly sorrow. Turn away from my sins, because we all was born in sin. Ever since Adam and Eve was disobedient, every baby that was born was born in sin. But Jesus Christ came to break the curse when he died on the cross of Calvary, and he shed his blood so we won't have to go to hell. Whoa.
We can go to heaven to be with Jesus. We live holy. Heaven belongs to you. There's a place that's better than this world. Let me tell you something. I don't plan to stay in this old evil, wicked world. I want to be in heaven after I die. I don't know where I'm going to die. Tomorrow is not promised to none of us. We got more young people that's even dying more than older people. You got little kids that's dying at an early age. You think the devil cares how young you are? You think the devil cares how old you are? The devil is out to kill everybody. But Jesus said, I come to save. He's the Prince of Peace. He's Alpha and Omega. Ooh, I, feel, I, I feel the anointing right now. You might have got molested. You might have got raped. Jesus can heal a broken heart. You might be wrestling with flashbacks from being sexually abused when you was a child. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. And I guarantee you, he can make your life brand new before it's too late. People are waiting it's too People are waiting to death knock on their door to come to Jesus. Don't wait to death knock on your door while you have a life and strength. Come to Christ now. He's not forcing you. He just don't want to see nobody go to hell. Let me tell you something. God doesn't take pleasure out of seeing nobody go to hell. See, God cannot stand sin. Sin stinks in the nostrils of God. So Jesus want to wash away our sins. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. By being baptized in the name of Jesus. Being filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, so God can do a transformation on the inside. He can deliver you from cigarettes. He can deliver you from alcohol. He can take the taste of alcohol out of your mouth. He can take the taste of drugs out of your mouth. God can take all those worthy desires and put in a new heart, a new spirit, and do a transformation, and you can have a testimony. Woo! It's like I used, it's like a, I used to be on the streets. But Jesus Christ can take you off the streets and put you in the mansion. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. Because money is going to pass away. Yeah, we need money, but don't worship money. That's going to pass away. A house can break down. Can, uh, a car can break down, but God's word is going to live forever. Because the devil is busy. The devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have a life and that you might have it more abundantly. It's your choice. Santa Claus can't give you the Holy Ghost. Santa ain't nothing but the devil. That's who Santa is. Santa is Satan. I, see. I grew up on Santa Claus too, but God began to show me that's all pagan. The Christmas tree's pagan. I didn't know, but it's in the word of God. Santa Claus ain't got nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. You never heard Santa Claus even talk about Jesus. Have you ever heard Santa Claus even mention Jesus? If we're supposed to be celebrating the birth of Jesus, you ain't never heard no Santa Claus mention Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. Yahshua, Yahweh, God bless you. So I'm praying for you today. But repent, turn from your wicked ways, then he will hear your prayers. Somebody say, you know, I pray to God every day, and then God's not responding to my prayers. You know why? Because God wants us to answer him. Every prayer God doesn't answer. You know why? Because people still choose to do evil. If you choose to keep murdering people and being jealous and backstabbing people, cheating on your husband, cheating on your wife, you can't expect God to answer your prayer if you keep doing evil. You can't expect God to answer your prayer and you're still racist. But if you ask God forgiveness for your sins, he can forgive you for your sins because we all have sinned. We all have made mistakes. The only one perfect is God. But Jesus can give us strength when you get weak because we all going to deal with temptation as long as we live in this life. The devil always going to send temptation. But when you got the Holy Ghost, he gives you power to resist temptation. If you fall, you can get back up. I felt that right there. I said, if you can fall, if you fall, get back up. Jesus has his hands to help you back up, and he will carry you through your problems. Woo! He will carry you over your mountains. He will carry you through your valleys. Hallelujah. He said, hallelujah. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Fear no evil if you got God with you. You don't got to be afraid if you got Jesus. If I don't got God, I'm in trouble. Because the devil's out to kill me like he out to kill everybody. I need God in my life every day. I don't just want God for money. A lot of folk only want God when they want money. And then when God gives you money, now you don't stop praying to God because you make money, you're a honey. Yes, we need money, but don't worship money. The Bible said in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, that the love of money is the root of all evil. The Bible never said that money is the problem. Don't love it. Money is not the problem. Don't worship it. We need money to eat. But don't worship the money. People are making packs with the devil and Hollywood for money, for fame and fortune. But when the contract is up, the devil comes to collect. The devil can give you money, but he cannot save your soul from a burning hell. God can bless you too, but obey his word. Make sure when God blesses you, always say, Lord, I thank you. Don't forget about Jesus. 
he can he can break the curse of poverty because poverty is of the devil See, when we disobey God bad things happen but guess what good things can happen too if you can talk to God right where you at while you walking down the street and say Lord forgive me for my sins let me tell you some God will talk back to you you like Lord I didn't know God was this real he'll make himself real to you and he'll bless you he'll he'll supply your every need I feel the Holy Ghost. He'll take you off the street. Bless you with your own place. That's up. God will take care of his own when you begin to walk up right before the Lord. God bless you. This is your friend in the gospel. Preacher Warren, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. And let's pray one for another. Hallelujah. Going into the year 2020. Let's stay with Jesus. Don't go back. God bless you real good. Preacher Warren.